Yo, what's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day today. Um, we're gonna be checking out Beanie Talks Cherry on Top Success performing at KCon, uh, and collaborating in hyping. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I feel like I'm getting my myself back, right? Like I I have a bit more energy than I had yesterday, which is awesome. You know, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting back to myself. So super excited. Super excited. And of course, you know what to do. Go show Beanie all the love. Go show him nothing but love because they deserve it. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's go to jump right into it. Come along for the ride. 102.7. I'm sitting here with, oh good? my God, I can't believe it. Beanie, hi. <laughs> hi. Hey, give me the uh, intros if you, if you don't mind. Tuthi, Mabuhai. Hi, I'm Malloy. It's Joanna. I'm Colette. Hey, what's up? It's Aya. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sheena. Hi, I'm Stacy. What's up, guys? It's Mika. I'm Gwen. And, and we, we are Beanie. We are Beanie. How did you guys come up with Love the name it. Beanie? What's the, the backstory on that? Okay, go, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, Bini is derived from the Filipino word Bini Bini, which means young lady. Um, it represents the group's identity as strong, graceful, and empowered young women, reflecting our um, Filipino heritage and goals to, to, to inspire and to entertain people. <laughs> yeah. You guys are doing something right because the buzz on you guys is so huge can you feel the excitement building internationally for you guys um to be honest it's not yet sinking in that we're slowly entering the international scene it was just a humble dream for beanie to be Aww. able to showcase our talents internationally but now we're very happy grateful and we're very honored because god has given us a lot of opportunities to um be able to show our talents globally well yeah once again like it's it's working my daughter who is 16 she was flipping when she <laughs> guys. So, cute, oh, cute, wow. cute. Um, hey, um, as far as uh, becoming artists, what inspired you or who inspired you to want to do this? A lot of people have like that one artist that inspired them or a moment. What inspired you know some of you guys to want to do this? I think internationally, I would think that Ariana Grande, you know, Mariah Carey, Beyonce, they have all been inspirations to all of us, yeah. but locally, Back in our country, Miss Sarah Geronimo, Casey Tandingan, Gary Valachano, a lot of them have inspired us so much. And they actually, we've experienced talking to them and they gave us so many, much lessons. And to think that we performed on the same stage as them, it's just wow. it's amazing. What kind of awesome. advice did they, did they tell you? Ooh. Oh, they Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good question. They said, You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to aim for excellence. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yes. okay. I like that. In what, 2021? Yes. And it does it feel like maybe at first you guys were, you know, you didn't really know each other that well, but now do you guys feel, does Beanie feel like a family? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've been together. <laughs> we've been together for so long, and I think we feel like sisters. Um, Joanna and Stacy, they are. Um, Mm -hmm. well, just only bo they're both only child but they have found us Aww, and feel like we've been cute. able to feel like that we are sisters yeah. cute. and you're with each other pretty much cute yeah at this point right yeah hey, uh, you guys are known in the philippines uh as and i think this is i we, uh, i don't know who came up with this but you're the the nation's girl, girl group or yep. so i'm told uh so with that kind of you know popularity and this kind of this thing growing certainly in the philippines do uh, fans, I'm sure, come up to you? I'm curious. What do fans usually say when they, if you're at a coffee shop or wherever? What do they? They run up to you. What do they typically say? Oh. They <laughs> Yo, Sheena, Sheena just. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sheena. Oh. Yo. Oh no, this is gonna get interesting, they, isn't it? You, what do they typically say? Oh. Or do they just scream? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they scream. They don't talk. They just scream. But <laughs> we also scream at them. Yeah. You know, like, they hurt. <laughs> For 
first off, two things with this little part of the clip right here. I love the, I love the question. First off, do they scream? And she's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, they scream. But I love the fact, I love her answer. It's okay though, because we scream back at them, you know? We scream back at them. And I just love that so much. But, but I love the fact that I hear JoJo laughing in the background. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like yo that is so real we just scream but we also scream at them yeah <laughs> you know like they hurt our ear we're gonna hurt you yeah. too yeah yeah, yeah. Cute. i love it and i actually find it very cute oh okay because, like why are they so excited to meet oh, us? Like, <laughs> yeah, but Come mostly on, um, also it. our Filipino blooms, they're very loud and they scream a lot. Even blooms we met here in US, mm. they would scream. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, just so y'all know, I'm, sc <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm screaming. If my voice is there, I'm screaming. So I do apologize. I will apologize. I will try and tone it down if I ever meet Beanie. But, you know, I'm definitely screaming on the inside is going to be a thing as well. Okay, just so you guys know. Let's all scream together. Yes, let's all scream <laughs> together. Facts, US, facts. Scream, so let's all scream together. <laughs> Love it. I found out that, you know, I, I, we, I don't know how, we, we scream a lot in the U.S. Whereas some fact. other countries, it's more of a, you, you sit down and enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. We scream and we bark. I don't know. We <laughs> bark? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, hey, well, with the popularity going, I don't know, bark. I, I don't know how that can Um Do you guys ever need to wear... When you want to stay kind of private and kind of, you know, low key, mm. do you ever wear a bit of a disguise? To uh, now, do the yeah, disguises the work? Tell me, what do you what do you do? So oh, we're not gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they will know. Yeah. No. Well, yo, hold on, though. There's gotta be a secret. Listen, we gotta keep that one to ourselves, right, ladies? We gotta keep that one to ourselves, right? Yes, we can't be letting anybody know. We can't be letting everybody know our secret disguises. Come on, that's why it's called the disguise. <laughs> but uh, mostly in the Philippines, now we need to disguise ourselves ah. for us to go around. It's a good problem, you know. This is uh -huh. our dream, so we just have to get used to it. Yeah, this guy yeah. wearing multiple. Yeah. Like, uh, like I recently just started um, the Beanie Adventures, right? I just finished episode one. And them being able to just walk around, seeing them be able to walk around and just do all that stuff in that first episode... And be at like the park and things like that. Again, that episode was so adorable, by the way. Like, stop. It was so cute. But like, I could imagine, and, and uh, many of you told me in the comments that that is not a thing anymore. Like, we, like, uh, the, the days of them walking around like that are no longer a thing, which. Cap, mask, shades, cap, um, hoodie, okay. <laughs> bands, but, or a wig. Or a wig? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, we, you gotta hide the, the disguises uh like you usually work because i've talked to some groups fans no you know, no yeah, no because you put a mask on but they'll recognize your eye yeah, yeah. Mark, I, oh that's you know so i guess the the disguise is kind of not it varies it varies especially for well her especially for her she's a red hair so, no. <laughs> too, so yeah if, you, if your red hair showing you're done okay got it <laughs> have you guys visited the u.s uh many times or la many times oh uh, this is our second time, second time second to be time. here in la yeah and then See, me, the um, first time we were here Malloy it back was here just is winter season on my day. I'm not so even it was lie. very cold back then and then now we got to uh, be here get to wear skirts and get to feel the heat and it's nice to be here again <laughs> Uh, we got to go to multiple places. We got to shop. Okay. It's like a work and play. Work and play. I like it. I like it. When uh, being here. And then, yeah, we uh, got to shop. We got to mm -hmm. do a lot what's, what's in here. What's the coolest thing you've seen or done? Ooh. Aside from, you know, doing the KCON performance. Which, which hey, yo, the KCON performance was fire, by the way. Oh, I'm still mad that it... That, oh. oh, so good. So good. Which was awesome. Still mad I didn't uh, go. What's the coolest thing you've Shopping. seen or done? Shopping. Yeah. Shopping. I love it. Outlets. <laughs> outlets. Hey, yo, I'm an outlet. Like uh, not yet. Hopefully we, watched, we will. We watched yeah. the uh, <laughs> oh, I saw some coyotes as well. Ooh, okay. <laughs> coyotes. Really? Yeah, that was interesting. Where did you see a coyote at? Hey, listen. I'm going to tell you guys right now. That is a real thing, okay? I live in the desert. We have coyotes everywhere. But... You know, for like my family members that live in like San Diego and and up in L.A. County, you know, and things like that. Coyotes really do. You will see a coyote literally running down your street or jumping in your backyard. You have to be very careful. OK, because coyotes 
are a thing here. Same with mountain lions, okay? Like, you have to, like, you will see some wildlife. I don't know. Uh, Just walking across there. Yeah, I dude, the house, they do that. They do that. You'll be walking, like, or you'll be outside, and you'll like see a coyote literally kind of running cool down your street, and you're just like, <laughs> "No, but I saw ra rabbits as well." Yeah, we yeah. Rabbits I, too, I live yeah. In Santa Clarita, which is a little north of us, and uh, every now and then, like a coyote, or you know, they'll walk across the street. Like, AC? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have any? F speaking of foods, do you have any foods in the U.S. Mm. that you've come to either love, like, "Oh my God, that that's amazing," or hate like that's disgusting Ooh, oh, I just got any chills. of those experiences i wish we have portos in the philippines uh, yeah okay. we really? love it we love it in the morning we eat portos i love it i love it we just love it in the morning we eat yeah. portos a while ago before going here uh, <laughs> portos oh my lord is slaying me everybody in la loves portos yeah. So, yeah a couple of places mm -hmm. portos is famous hey you guys are the uh you're the first filipino group to perform at KCON, KCON LA. Uh, if you can play the words, man. how exciting is, is that? That's gotta oh. be super cool, right? Super cool, super exciting. Um, uh, we were very- I was waiting to hear my girl, my, my girl Colette sing. Hey, listen, um, Colette, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Colette. Happy birthday to you. Um, I hope it's a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, so yeah. Shock when it was announced that we're going to perform. Anyway. Um, we were very shocked when it was announced that we're going to perform there. And never in our wildest dream that Aww. we're going to perform at KCON. Someone would um, choose Beanie to perform at the pre-show and being able to perform. And we are the first filipino group to perform there so it was wild and it's both an opportunity and a responsibility and we're able to showcase what we have in the philippines we are able to introduce ourselves as beanie we're able to Aww. um our raise our flag oh, yes. oh, yeah. that we want to share the um the talent the music the culture of the philippines and also we want to we want people to know that we have p-pop you know we have opm there and we want them to get curious and explore what oh, we have love that man i've That's loved so, it ever so since cool. i'm and telling you, guys you. Are inspiring so many not only young artists from around the world but certainly from the philippines like there's some girls looking at you guys right now going man i could i can do that you guys are doing it just like they inspired you you know uh hey have you any, any as far as kcon any exciting <laughs> stories like you met so and so you talked to so and so ooh, any, ooh, this is uh, this is where we get this is where we get uh, collaborating and stuff. Is, I'm, I'm, ooh. Ah, I'm excited for this part. Scenes, KCON stories that uh, come to mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we actually met and hyphen. Okay. Oh, you love me too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, actually, me and Ati Colette are like very big fans. We are hey. engines. Okay. And we actually met also other K pop artists like Annie, Cat's Eye, but um, wow. personally in hyphen. Um, I love them. We actually collaborated for a TikTok video, I and yet. I can't oh, believe yeah, it. Did you okay. like it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> did you share it? I did. I did. I oh. share it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, Sheena. I love it so much. Did you share it? Did you share it? Yo, fags. Oh, I, yeah. They were, terrible, yeah they were so kind and approachable. Like, oh. I can't believe they are yeah. there in front of us, and we're dancing with them. So it was a dream come I true. love Very it. Nice. I love I think it. I think I've listened to so much in hype over the last couple of... I, I did a show. I interviewed them here in L.A. Oh. Uh, I flew to Dallas oh. and did a thing with them where they uh, they did a show in Dallas and it was broadcast on what do you call it the IMAX theaters across the U.S. Ooh, I did that with them. flew to Korea did a piece with them in Korea at WeverseCon. Nice. I mean, I think I think I'm stalking them. It's like <laughs> you know, oh they, they, they're such good dudes. And you guys, let's put this out there. Maybe a potential collab, Ooh. like musical collab. Yeah, that would be cool. Best. That would be cool. Crazier things have happened. So. That would be yeah. cool. Okay, see that that would be cool. That, you know. Collabing with, and I love the fact that they're they're fans too. Like, yo, it's so cute, so adorable. But that would be a cool collab. I would I would love that. That would be awesome. Right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that. Get that thing going here. <laughs> little inside, uh, little inside. inside. Yeah. Thoughts on this track? Congrats on it, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. If you could describe <clears throat> this track in like one word, what what word comes to mind? Hmm. One mm. word. One word. Yeah. If you want to stretch it to two. You know, <laughs> we're not going to have a heart attack. 
groundbreaking. There you go. There you go. There you go. We set a new standard for this for this song. Right. Yes. And for us also. Right. Favorite part of the video shoot. Ooh. Favorite part. I think when we went to an outside location. Okay. It's like a f um Barbie house. Mm. It's very magical. So we like it. Aww. Yeah. yeah. It's like Stacy's house because it's so pink. <laughs> it's like there's a unicorn and pixie <laughs> dust and everything. A unicorn, you pixie dust, like and everything. Videos, Love it. It's set for a couple of things here and there. And it's always fun. This is me talking, not for you. But I find it cool to say, hey, I did this. Watch me in this. But the actual shooting of some things, I kind of find it boring because you wait <laughs> around so much and you do, like you shoot and it ex it's exciting for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you wait for like nine yeah, hours from the reset thing. It's it, I don't know if that's your experience or not, but uh, yeah, do you agree with that or you, do you disagree? We do have a, a, a lot of time for waiting time, but in between, yeah, we it's either we sleep or <laughs> we eat, we eat, sleep. or we just be ourselves. Yeah. Uh, usual authentic beanie. <laughs> just laugh and, and see, I love the beaniness. That's what I'm saying. That's what the, uh, their themselves is what has like kind of really won me over. Right? It's what won me over off the jump. Um, uh, was when I got to experience them. Them being them is what one like I was just like, oh my gosh, like I love this. I love this so much, you know. Um, because it was so fun, it's so wholesome. It's just, you know, you could tell that they are artists, right? You could tell they love what they do and that they are doing what they love, which is so amazing. And then it's like they're so humble, they're just so grateful, they're just so just you know, down to earth, and they just they just want to spread positivity and just live life, loving life, all kinds of stuff, you know? Each other and do silly stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think it just hit good. me. The, the reason I'm bored is because it's just me. Oh. Oh. That is true, yeah. I mean, when there's eight of you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you thinking a tour down the road? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. oh. Yes. can I say this? Can't... Actually, we're supposed to have a New York tour but it got canceled. Oh. Uh, moved. It got, got moved. moved. Okay. Maybe be because of um, conflict of schedules. But mm. yeah, okay. hopefully okay. we can do it some other but time. But currently next we year. have a tour also. But in we Canada. have a tour, yeah. Oh, yeah, in yeah Canada. Okay. For okay. Shows, okay. So okay. yeah, we're still on that tour. <laughs> Man, you guys enjoy life. Uh, on, I know you love, I would assume you love life on, on being on stage. But do you enjoy life on the road? Because some people, you know, some people love it. Some people think it's a little too rigid. You have to wake up at a certain time, and it's, everything is very structured. Do you love life on the road? Yeah, I love this life. <laughs> I love being a Vini. I love being a member of and Every day, I, I feel so grateful that being able to, to tour, to travel with you guys. So this is one for the book. Can't, I can't. To tour, to travel with you guys. I so can't, this is I one for the I books, can't. and I will forever treasure this moment. Uh, I love that. You guys I, basically I, yo, I literally were gonna say I love that right now. Come on, Jojo, you're stealing my words, my boy. You're stealing my words. A dream, like what you yeah. wanted as a kid. It's kind of it, it really is. Have you ever made a funny on stage? mistake Ooh. a lot a lot yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> i love it Doc. when someone when is it funny <laughs> like, oh i have yeah. my jeans i was supposed sure. to say i don't get i don't what is it how when it was moment. a coconut <laughs> earring uh, yeah i ripped my jeans but then uh, the show must the show must, the go, show on. must go on it's a wardrobe, it's a oh, wardrobe well, moment. Me, i almost slipped oh no oh no in the philippines like when it was my part i'm on strings don't cut me up but no, i slayed hey, oh, it yep. it was my part i'm on strings don't cut me up but no, i slayed that part <laughs> slayed that part <laughs> yeah. i won't say his name but one guy told me that he uh he uh he he fell and the microphone went in his throat. Ooh, oh. ooh! So he, I said, "Well, what did you do?" He's like, "I pulled it out and kept singing." <laughs> so I mean, you, you know, crazy things happen, you know. And you just kind of that kind of makes you when you almost fell, you had the rip. You kind of grow as an artist. Exactly. You and, you, and you realize it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. You know, the ish guy happens. Mike, so, <laughs> um, hey, couple of random questions. Uh, I don't know who this is. True or false? One of you guys is a expert video gamer. Ooh. Video gamer. Wow. I think it's Mika. I think it's Mika. It's Joanna. Well, <laughs> well, actually, it's like a mobile game. Oh, okay. I used to play like different games like Xbox, PS4, but right. I used to be a pro at Call of Duty Mobile. Hey! Yeah. 
And I went against at at Aya. For funsies. Yeah. yeah. And the eye roll. Look, 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 look. Aya. For funsies. For funsies. Yeah. For funsies. <laughs> because I was like, oh, okay, well, show me what you got, and then yeah. huh, zero. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Mika, listen, I play COD. I used to compete in COD. Let's get some games together. Come on now. Come on now. So yeah. she, she, I'm, uh, I'm so terrible though. I'm terrible yeah. though. I'm too old to be playing yeah, Call of Duty. Points. She won, but in my world, I won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll that. It's all that matters. It's true or false, one of you has a special talent of uh, like being a news reporter. Or news oh. 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 I love so it. I would love to hear like, give me. A okay, news. okay. Whatever, whatever in English. <clears throat> okay, so I'll use the script. Na lang in English. Na lang. <laughs> 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 Okay. Na lang in English. Na lang. Okay. Uh, okay. Live from the station that brings you nothing but the truth 24-7. This is News Expose and for the headlines. That's it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I love how it like. Malo That's it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love. That's so. Pressured. Could you ever see yourself being a news reporter like down the road someday, or has has it ever been a thing yes, for you? Yes. Oh, you uh, have tried yeah. one time. You did do it. I tried. Yeah, national TV. It's uh, Filipino broadcasting. Mm. I used to compete before, mm -hmm. back when I was in that's my cool. elementary and high school days. Yeah, okay. okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right, another random one. Uh, one of you loves. Maybe all you guys love doing this. Uh, you love photo bombing fan picks. Ooh. Is that like all of you? Yeah, all of them. All of them. Yeah. Like, so one of you. I can only imagine. Okay, um, this next question has nothing to do with music. Uh, we just met, so you don't know this about me. I am obsessed with the paranormal. Ooh. Ghost, Same. You know, haunted houses, all that stuff. Let me tell you guys right now, before this channel was even created, I wanted to be a paranormal in investigator. I wanted to go to haunted locations and do YouTube videos. That was my whole thing all the way up me and my friend andy would talk about it all the time we were looking at but you know um i came to the conclusion that a guy in a power chair that you know runs off of battery life probably would not like could you imagine me trying to get away when you know like a ghost like drains the battery of my power chair like oh yeah <laughs> so but listen i love everything supernatural everything spooky like i was i'm born in my birthday's in october right i am an october baby i love halloween like th this is probably why i'm getting i'm so energized right now because i know spooky season like scary season scary movies is right around the corner right and it's just like yes this is my favorite time of the year this is this is where i become like me this is where i feel the most like myself you know and so i'm so excited to see i love gwen's ex i love gwen's excitement right here with the paranormal ghost you know, haunted houses all that stuff i've got a podcast called paranormalish i talk to people who've had real paranormal encounters i do investigations when i have time you know Ooh, okay it i'm yeah I'm, I'm crazy i know um, <laughs> have you have any of you ever had something that you would consider <laughs> A, a, a paranormal encounter. Mm. Oh, a lot. A lot. Oh, yeah. Our beanie house. Oh, my gosh. Oh oh my gosh. What, detail. What do you got? We need a whole episode for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm down for it, though. I'm down for it. Because we uh, lived together at Beanie House, and there we experienced a lot of, Ooh. you know, paranormal. Give, give me one or two. Uh, we should do a full episode. We should do. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I would watch that. that. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of photo bombing. Yeah, so oh. we experienced that, like, like a, me a shadow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think all of us experienced, especially Stacy. Yeah, <laughs> when I was taking a video, I was just feeling myself. I was taking a selfie video, and then suddenly, a doppelganger of Joanna. Of Joanna. Like with the low thing. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, well, it looks shot. like Joanna, but. Yeah, I, I caught it. There's a video. video. Yeah, and I even yeah. have the picture of the. Whoa! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go find that. I was just alone in the room. I'm gonna have to go find that. I'm gonna have to go find that. When I turn around, no, no one's there. there. Do you, Do you so. have a theory on what like what haunts the house? Is there like a Have you ever? There's done something. Research? It's history. Yeah, there's really <laughs> something inside that house. Yeah. No, and and do you, do you live there anymore or no? No, no, no not anymore. anymore. <laughs> Who lives there now? Do they know that that thing is? Oh, they broke the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dang. Wow. Okay. 
One of these days, let's do, maybe next time you come in, let's do a full episode. Yes, please. That would be. And we would love to hear yours. Oh, I love it. Can you see? Can you see a ghost? What was that? They have a thing. I haven't seen anything where I thought, I haven't seen anything so obvious where that's a ghost, but I've had doors slammed that can't be explained. Yep. Yep. I've heard some pretty crazy uh, stories. Um, uh, there, there's an actress that came in. Here, I'll give you one story. This is not me, but somebody else. An actress came in, um, and uh, I'm sorry. I love how they all leave. For, I love how they leave. For. In, um, and uh, she said that. Uh, well, bit of a long story. I'll keep it short. When they were like four, five, or six years old, they lived with their mom, dad, and grandmother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, just them. And uh, grandmother got sick. Grandmother passed away. Really sad. Um, the family was so, you know, heartbroken that they didn't want to tell the kids that grandmother had passed away. Mm. So no. they didn't, they didn't oh tell the kids oh that grandmother oh passed for an entire year. Oh my gosh. So in a year after she passed, they still thought grandmother was either staying with a friend, staying with an uncle. Mm -hmm. She went to the hospital from time to time. There was always an excuse that made sense to these girls why grandmother wasn't there, but they thought she was alive. So about a week after she passed, so grandmother is gone. They don't know it. About a week after she passed, mom called up and says, hey, time for some food. And the little girl said, I can't come down. I'm braiding grandmother's hair. Oh. oh <laughs> so, yeah, that, they told me it was real. I, I, cool. I, they seemed serious. So mom ran up. Grandmother clearly wasn't there. <laughs> and I'm like, here's mom's too. And, uh, and they never spoke about that until years later. Wow. Cool. That's crazy. Yeah, what memo was that? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was in the city of Northridge, which is in the valley, not too far from where we're at right now. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you guys ever consider, and you're gonna say no, but would you ever consider visiting a real haunted location? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yo, we need. We uh, yo. Uh, okay, you guys need. Don't again. Don't. I'm new. Please. T are there any, like video like any like beanie goes to haunted house or something like that anything like you guys get what i'm saying let me know if there is okay because ah, oh, i would love to watch those i i'm telling you right now if they were to do like an episode or a, a, a thing like that ah uh, Yes, yes. I'd love to. Yes. We're game. I'm down. <laughs> she doesn't know. I'm no. She's like, no. Yes, yes. I'd love to. We're game. I'm down. Yes. <laughs> I'm down. Would you bring yes. us there? I'm down. I'm down. No. Yes. I'm yes. Down. No. No, she's like, yeah, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure? Honestly, if I can. <laughs> but alone in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a couple two more questions. Um <laughs> yeah, please, one of these days I want to have have you back for a full Ghost. Yeah, yes. I love that. Um, what do you, as far as the, the success you guys have had, you know, I know it's still the beginning. You got a long, you know, long way to go, and the sky's the limit. But what have your family and friends, you know, what's their reaction to your success so far? Like, what are they, you know, your your really your, your inner circle? What do they think about all the success you guys? Have? Yeah. So they always message personally. They message me, you know, like through chat. They say that they're proud of me and that they're always there for me. And they remind me to, you know, keep, stay humble. Stay and humble. And personally, me, my, rea my reaction is like, it's still surreal. Right. Like I'm, right. I still can't believe it. And, uh, you know, when we go to our events, live events, and it's just amazing to, uh, uh, to, uh, to see our blooms grow, our, our family grow, and we're very, very, I'm overwhelmed, but, but at the same time, I'm very, very, very grateful to love that the love that we have been receiving from them. Same question to you guys. What's your reaction to what's going on? Is it, you said surreal, any other personal reaction to the <laughs> success of Beanie? Very overwhelming. Yeah, right now it feels overwhelming because maybe I guess we are we're at the stage where it's like a transitional stage from our simple lives to now having people to come come at us and just scream our names like, "Oh, are you from BD?" Like, "Okay, oh my gosh." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when we're eating or just wherever, they just come at us. Um, yeah, we feel happy that they know us, but uh, mm. I guess we're still kind of 
trying to yeah. adjust to it to everything because a lot has been happening lately. I guess but there's an adjustment period to that because it's it's kind of wild to have strangers, yeah, yeah. complete strangers. When you think about it, know everything about you. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even your friends or family, they know everything yeah. about them. Yeah. Wow. Even your families are celebrities also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they feel like they're celebrities right now as well. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, I guess my final question to you guys. Um, message to those fans. Ooh. What would you like to say to them? Um, I just want to say salamat po. Thank you so much, our Blooms, for always supporting us. Thank you for the love. Thank you for always being there for Beanie. And thank you for traveling just to see us. And I hope that God will... Bless you more for the love mm. that you're giving Beanie. Thank you guys for, for hanging out, okay? Yeah, thank you. And at the end of every interview, fist bump to make it official. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. Wow. There we go. Hey. Oh. Thank, thank you. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Um... I know, oh, man, a collab with an hyphen would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool. That would be awesome. Um, I still, I still, I'm still so sad I didn't get to go see him at KCON. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. It still, it still like makes me so sad that I didn't get to go. because uh, I had contemplated going. I had contemplated going and being like, you know what? We'll figure it out. But I just was like, no, 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 no. And then, yeah. Mm. All right, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Again, remember, go show Beanie all the love. Go show him nothing but love because they deserve it, okay? And y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Y'all take it easy. I love you. Peace.